end and edge effects in induction heating of slabs and strips. Heating of rectangular bodies, slabs, strips, foils, is essentially a 3D problem. If slab thickness is significantly less than width and length, it is possible to consider central zone as a 1D area. In side areas, eddy currents bend 180 degrees, forming zones of edge effect. Near the ends of a slab, there is distortion of magnetic field, which tends to cut the corner. This is a zone of end effect, similar to end effect zone of a cylinder. Area of 3D corner is a special zone where end and edge effects interfere. Power density map demonstrating end effects in non-magnetic slab. End effect in non-magnetic body is always positive. There is extra power near the body end. Power and temperature distribution in slab length may be controlled by its position inside the coil or by magnetic flux controller. Power density map demonstrating edge effects in magnetic and non-magnetic slabs. Edge effect in rectangular body may result in underheating or overheating of the slab edge zone. Underheating happens when slab thickness is less than three reference depths. Overheating, when thickness is more than three reference depths, which is typical for magnetic slabs. Thus, frequency selection is critical for uniform heating of slab in its width. Power density map in the corner zone of non-magnetic slab. Here we see a combination of end and edge effects near the 3D corner of a non-magnetic steel slab. Approximately one-eighth of the whole slab is shown. As you can see, 3D effects near the corner are complicated due to interference of end and edge effects. Elevated heat losses in the corner zone must also be taken into account for prediction of temperature distribution.